great. So give a big, huge round of applause to Fuding. Come on up, Fuding. This is a story about escaping violence. When I was five, we were the first Chinese family out in the San Fernando Valley. They didn't know what to do with us, but my grammar school teacher gave a valiant rise to the occasion. Children, we have a new student in class. His name is Fu De Fu Fu Ding, and he's a mongoloid. <laughs> What's a mongoloid? Well, you see, they're yellow people, but we, we're white people, so we're called Caucasoid, Caucasoids. And then there are black people, and they're called Negroid. But you can see Fu Ding is yellow, so he's a mongoloid. With that, I just wanted to shrink. I don't belong here. I don't know about these cockatoids. Oh, I had to get out. Out of class, the teasing got a little more colorful. You know, so, well, granted, with a name like Fu Ding, it's open season for teasing. <laughs> in some circles, it might even be mandatory. But by the time it was junior high school, it could get physically violent. So one time, for example, in front of, before gym class, some guy gave me a violent push on the bleachers. Get out of my bleachers, you fucking chink. I'm like, whoa. By the time he shoved me again, the fight was on. I just flew at him. Somebody yells, the chink against the pachuco, chink against the pachuco. And the big crowd gathered around. Pachucos, by the way, were our names for Mexicans back in those days. And so we were scrambling around on the ground, and I got him in a headlock. It was over for him. I have four brothers. I know. I've practiced. He could not squirm away. The more he squirmed, the more pain. And then you could cut my torso off. I would still be locked into him. And then all of a sudden, whoosh, I'm up dangling in the air. It was Mr. McConaughey, ex-Marine gym coach, holding us up like by the scruff of their neck like a couple of squirming rodents. Threw us into the office to be punished, and that was that. Well, that day, walking home from, uh, through campus, I saw by the Coke machine all a group of these pachucos. And I thought, wow, they are so dark with those greasy haircuts, black leather jacket, and those sneaky little switchblades made everybody avoid them. And then suddenly I saw something that made my heart sink. In that shadow, in that dark silhouette of all those pachuco guys, two eyes staring at me. I looked. Oh my God, it's this very same guy I just fought. He's a leader of a Pachuco gang. Oh. Anyway, now I see him whispering to his gang guys. Now they're spreading out. Seven against one. It's not going to bode well for me. And meanwhile, in spite of everything, my feet still going forward. I got to turn around and run. But it's unthinkable because even if they cut my head off, even they chopped it off, Far better to lose your head than to lose face. It's a Chinese thing. Don't worry about it. But <laughs> so step by step, I walked up until I was facing that guy. His buddies came up a little closer, backing him up. And then he looks at me. <clears throat> You're Chinese, right? So my buddies and I were wondering if you could teach us some of that kung fu you did on me. <laughs> Very slowly, I let the air out of my lungs so I could breathe again. <laughs> Holding his gaze, I said, possible? <laughs> possible? Let's see. He took that in, and then with a nod, stepped aside, and very coolly, I put my left foot in front of my right until I get the hell out of there. <laughs> that night, I was just filled with anxiety. Yeah, I won the day. But what about tomorrow or another gang? And who knows? I mean, all this violence, prejudice, this is no escape. Just then, a book from my father's library fell in my lap. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. <laughs> What's this? I flipped it open and I read, the most sweetest sound for anybody in any language is the sound of their own name. Wow, that's pretty cool. Then I flipped through something else, and it said, never shame somebody to their face, and certainly not in front of their friends. I was astounded, shocked, a light bulb moment. Even Caucasoids fear losing face. <laughs> We're connected. We suffer the same. 
and with that, a little glimmer of hope that maybe I can fit in this crazy world. And so inspired, I mined the book for little techniques to try out in school. So the next few months, I started experimenting. And sure enough, I started beginning winning friends and influencing people. So that by the time it was graduation day, I was still... I was still the only Chinese in a sea of cockazoids, but I found myself mounting the steps to the podium center stage in front of everybody. It was very strange standing there, and yet I was at ease. And everyone else was at ease, because by that time, I had been elected student body president. Thank you. (laughs) 